Hello, I'm Mixed Muzz My Man, and welcome to my channel. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you a quick little um, hack sort of video on how to make your lawnmower start. This video is for the Hater 48 that I had, but this will also affect any lawnmower that has a dead man's handle micro switch or um, the old lever type switches where the, um, the lawnmower needs to have a circuit to be open for it, for it to spark. And uh, if it doesn't, then you won't get a spark and therefore you won't get, you won't, your lawnmower won't start. So this video I did a little while ago on the Hater 48 on how to remo renew the drive cable, but then the machine didn't want to start whilst I was doing a video, which was quite some, kind of strange, so the machine was running. But then I did find out that the micro switch was to blame, so I thought well, I'd do a little video on how to just adjust that, make sure it does work and does clear. That way going forward, that machine will then stop and start exactly how you want it to, and I think that's the main reason why this lawnmower was thrown out in the first place. If you like the video mixed Mars and Merman, hit your subscribe button and whack the old bell, set notifications to all, that way you'll be told next time I upload another video. So without further ado, let's get down dirty, let's get this hate of 48 up on the bench, adjust the cables or micro switch to make sure this lawnmower starts as and when it should do. What a beautiful day it is today. Right, so here it is. Height of 48. Just done a video on my drive cable on this, but it's got an issue because it's not always starting. And it's not always starting because when you pull the dead man in, you pull the cord, it doesn't always want to start. See? Nothing. Nada. Not a bean. Not a bean, not a bang. But if I pull the dead man in and then just get hold of this cable here, and just pull that open so that it pulls the dead man switch in. Just a touch there. I think that's about right. Then it should start, he says. So let's get that little issue sorted. Okay, so I've got to zoom right in as far as I can go because I want to get this video sort of done quick sharp and um, give you guys and girls as much information as I can. Now, here's your dead man's handle cable. So this is one you have to pull in before you start the lawnmower, okay? This is your throttle cable on the top, so ignore that one for now. But you can see here, someone's already bent this one all the way back. Let me show you. So someone knew about it. And they bent that all the way back. See how they bent that? There's your micro switch up inside there. Now, what happens is when you pull your cable, okay, this will all move up, okay, as it should do, but then look inside here. Uh, I'm trying a good picture for you. Inside there. Now, that look, that rocks, you see. See how it rocks? Now, there's a little tiny prong just sitting down. Let me get a screwdriver so you can see what I'm talking about. <clears throat> now, what turns your engine off is that little tiny bit just there. Let me make sure I've got enough light in here, yeah. That little tiny bit just there, that makes contact with this bit here, okay? If that's too, those two are touching, then your lawnmower's never gonna start. Never, ever, never, 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 okay? So when you actually pull your handle um, for, your, for your lawnmower to start, you'll see that move and it should, clear, it should clear the circuit, but it's actually not clearing the circuit, okay? Now there's two or three things you can do to counter to counterreact that, okay? Now the first one I'm gonna do is the easiest, okay? Now what we can do is just bend this back even more, but someone's already done that. Someone's already done, already worked that to death, okay? And it hasn't, it obviously hasn't worked. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna, just gonna adjust that cable even more, okay? All it is is the cable has stretched. Now, for the sake of a new cable, just put a new cable on and everyone's happy and we can all move on with our day, okay? But don't always have a cable out in the field, guys. So what you can do is this cable here, this will untwist against this body. Okay, you might have to remove it to do so. I'm just trying to find out how long those pliers on my cable removal tool, which I keep, I keep losing my cable removal tool. I put it down once, so I've already had it once and now I can't find it again. I need Brandon to send me an abundance of them. I've just found it, here it is, All right. So, with my cable removal tool now in place, I can now fit this over top, push that over top of the cable. That will then remove that cable out, like so. 
and give me a bit of play. Now this cable here, if you just unscrew this, about three turns should be enough. You can now put a back in oh, into there. And when you now pull it, I bet you a pound that clears. I bet you a pound, okay? And the only way of finding out <coughs> is to make sure um, there's nothing under the machine and just start the machine up. Or turn that light on. Let me try and bring you guys down so we can see what's going on. So just for three turns of a cable, let me see. So here is our, our, our micro switch. Let me bring a light in as well. If I can get a light in on top of that, that might try and help. Let me try and just fit that up there. Okay, so now you can see that's touching, okay? It's touching. So now when I activate that cable, it should now, this is hard to do it one-handed. Oh, it's tight, man. That's really tight. I reckon, I reckon that's got it. I reckon it's actually got it, though, is what I think. I'm trying to look myself. I feel I'm so far away at the other end of the machine. I reckon that's got it, okay? I reckon it has actually cleared it. But it, is, but it is night and day. It is so close to where it could be to fail, okay? So we need to make sure that that actually is gonna not fail in the future, okay? Now the best way of doing that, in my opinion, without buying a new cable, as I say, is to get a pair of long nose pliers. And all I'm gonna do is reach in, I'm gonna bend this, um, this micro switch down slightly. I might have to remove the recoil cover to do it. If I can get hold of it and just give that a bend downwards in the down position. Not a lot, just enough. Because all it is, it's just not quite clearing that switch. I think that's cleared it now. I think we're there. I think we're there, baby. Now, if you, if you do it too much, then what happens is um, you won't be able to turn your lawnmower off. <clears throat> so you can't go mad with it. Because it is a fine tuning exercise. Just enough. Has that got it or not, Mick? <clears throat> so if you go too mad, then you, you'll never be able to turn your machine off. I'm looking. That looks to be good to me. Wow, yeah, it's night and day. Right, so now, <clears throat> just by bending that down, just, just, a, just, just a, a breath. It's so hard to get everyone in, everyone happy, so they can see what's going on. Let me put you guys about there. Right, here we go. Let's try and get you, there you go, right. So now, let me get a decent light in there, Mick, where you can all see. There, let's try there. So now, mm, it's so hard, guys, to try and do a video to, so that you all you guys can see what's going on, and then you can all see, but. That switch just down here now, just there where my thumb is, that is now touching at the moment. But now if I pull it, you can now see it's actually cleared. There's actually a gap there. I don't know if you can see that, okay? So now the only thing to do <clears throat> is literally to fire the lawnmower up to see if we have or have not actually fixed it. Because <clears throat> if we have, then we've just saved ourselves about 15, 20 quid. And, um, we, we can still continue to mow our garden, because otherwise you have to stop, water apart up, and all the rest of it. But now I want the machine to start, stop is more important than starting, because uh, you obviously want to be able to turn the machine off, especially in an emergency. So let me just pull you back a bit. I'm not going to cut the video, because I want you guys to make sure that I'm not manipulating the situation and make myself look like a hero. So now if I pull it in, turn it on to choke, you may want a bit of choke. Oh, pull that cord. So it starts and stops. Let's do it again. Just testing just for, for fail safe. Make sure it's not actually just a, just a fluke. There you go, fixed. So all it was is a very, very simple little fix. But nine times out of 10, people will throw these machines away because the micro switch is just slightly out of adjustment and all the cable. All I've done was took it up by about two or three mil and then just adjust, it, adjust the switch. If you want to solve the problem permanently, buy a new cable. But if you're out in the field, then that's how you fix that. 
So there you go, one height of 48 now all up and running, stopping, starting exactly as it should do, and all it was was a problem with either the adjustment with a micro switch or the adjustment with a cable, and both of those can be done in the field with a flathead screwdriver and a pair of long nose pliers, and you're good to go. You can fix this problem just simply by doing a complete new cable reinstall, that costs about 15, 20 pound with a hated cable. But, um, but just by doing it very, very quickly, we'll get you up and running, no problems at all. So there you go. If, you, if your little lawnmower is not stopping or not starting, then just make sure that your micro switch is making contact and, and breaking circuit as and when you need it to do so. If that's all video, mix my mower man, hit the subscribe button or whack the old bell. Set notifications to all, that way you'll be told next time I upload another video. I look forward to seeing this episode of Mixed Mows very, very soon, but until then, people, much more importantly, take it easy.